a young man, uh, Brady Honeycutt. Brady is a young uh, country singer and songwriter. Uh, his uh, debut traditional country music in Western Swing, he is uh, from Texas. Uh, Brady was born in 1986. He grew up listening to the tunes of George Strait, Bob Wills, Farron Young, Jody Nix, and many others a lot. Uh, at five years old, Brady performed live on stage with Western Swing Hall of Fame singer and fiddle player, your friend of mine, old Jody Nix and uh, the Texas Cowboys there in Midland, Texas. Little did he know that one day he'd be following in the footsteps of those big names that helped establish his country, true country roots. Based out of South Texas, Brady provides some of the best honky-tonk and dancehall music as he travels from show to show. He's known for putting folks on the dance floor. His followers associate his sounds with the music styles of that of Bob Wills, Merle Haggard, George Strait, Aaron Watson. The enjoyment of taking the stage and watching people dance and filling up that dance floor and having a good time are highs that Brady can't get enough of. Amen. We sure understand that and appreciate it. He always makes a point during the breaks or at the end of the show to stick around and visit with folks and mingle with his fans and the crowds. Brady's debut album, A Nothing to Lose, was released on May uh, of 2013. Brady, did you, did you, were you able to finish that recording with Bobby before he went to heaven? Six, no, really? Well, when dear sweet Bob, Bobby Flores left us, you had six tracks laid down and four to go. Is that what you said? So, certainly, Brady's recorded and played with some of the best. His last album uh, is on, available on iTunes. A CD Baby, and other online sites, <clears throat> as well as at his shows. Nothing to Lose consists of both original and cover tunes Brady grew up loving. Be on the lookout for this young man at the local venues and festivals near you. This is a show and dance that you will not want to miss. Brady Honeycutt. It's, uh, it's, I'm not the kind that really like to sit and talk a whole lot. I would much rather sing you all a song. As a matter of fact, when we were coming up on stage, my wife said, do I have to go up there with you? I said, yeah, you do. She's not used to being up on stage, but uh, I want to first start off, uh, and thank God. Um, none of this is possible without him, and I've been extremely blessed um, over my very short career uh, in the music industry and uh, in life in general. Um, I have so many fans and so many people to thank. Uh, I know I'm going to miss miss somebody, so I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, uh, thank you to all my family. I want to thank my wife. There's been a lot of miles and a lot of years on the road, and it, it taxes her just as much as it does us, and uh, it's very, very uh, difficult for her, and I want to say thank you for being so patient and understanding all, after all these years. I know there's a lot more to go, so I'm paying it forward here. <laughs> um, I want to thank, uh, again, my family, my fans, all the radio disc jockeys and promoters. Uh, thank you all so much for playing our music. Uh, without you guys, we don't get exposed to the, to the fan base that we do. Um, the, the country venues uh, that book us time and festivals time and time again. Um, without you guys, I mean, we wouldn't have a place to play. So we thank you from the bottom, or I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I would be uh, remiss if I did not uh, mention the band and the people and the band members that I've played with in the past. In fact, we've got one here tonight, Jack Phillips, still guitar player, uh, absolutely amazing, amazing musician, and uh, you'll see him on a big stage here pretty soon. Um, that's just one of the very many that I've played with, um, but I want to thank them. They, they're the reason that we sound as, as well as we do on stage, and uh, they keep keep people on the dance floor, just like us singers and, and front men. So um, I want to thank everybody for the, no I want to thank Paula Youngman for the nomination. I did not realize she was the one who nominated me. Uh, and I want to thank uh, the, the Music Society of the Southwest for having this and inducting me into the Hall of Fame. I greatly appreciate it, and I'm not going to take up too much more of your time, but thank you all so much for this. It's, it's going to be in my heart forever. Thank you. 